I just finished watching Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and hey, guess what? The improbability drives powers are vague at best. <laughs> now I understand the Madness series. I'm back, and like promised, here's part two of the Madness Review. Some of you are probably wondering what the fuck's with these pubes I call facial hair. Well, as you've seen from the opening, apparently I look a lot cooler with facial hair. That and it's been minus 40 in town for the last week, and it helps hide my double chin pretty good. Well, all that aside, I had some, uh enlightening interactions with other people. You see, I was told about where he got the inspiration for the Improbability Drive, and that the Madness series has a wiki page. And this wiki page enlightened me to all the characters. Sanford, Demos, Hank, the Clown, Jesus, the Sheriff, and the Devil. Oh, stop with your booze! Yeah, I know he's not called the Devil. He's called the Auditor, but really, I prefer to call him Hades. Why Hades? Look at this. All right, here we have a picture of Disney's Hades. Now, first thing we're going to do is chop off everything between his wrists and his shoulders. Then we're going to make his eyes blood red, turn his blue hair black, and make the rest of them also jet black. Bam! There you go. You got the Auditor. So for any of you who haven't seen the series at all, this is generally what you've been hearing from me last episode. Blah, 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 madness. Blah, blah, guys beating people up. Blah, blah, characters. Blah, blah, screaming like a baby. Blah, blah, bitching and moaning. Blah, blah, it's over. Well, finally, embrace the madness. I can be your tour guide on this long gray road that takes you to somewhere in Nevada. So this flash starts off with a slow zoom out of Hank and this guy with a gray boombox standing on the gray ground by a gray tree with a gray sky behind them. And there's a lot of gray in this. Anyways, the, this episode is pretty dull in comparison. It really consists of Hank here beating up a dozen or so guys with his fists, and after he kills them with his fists, he pulls out a grenade and blows their bloodless bodies into pieces. Hold on a second. Is that a color? Yeah, that was a green grenade right there. What the fuck is this? The color green? Oh Jesus, please deliver me from this evil. Oh, fuck, it's starting without me. Oh, hey, Jesus showed up. Well, he zombies, bolts, more bodies, Hank beats it up. Long story short, this is how it goes. Hank attacks, Jesus counterattacks. Jesus attacks, Hank counterattacks. Hank attacks, there we go. Jesus counterattacks. Jesus attacks, and attacks. Hank attacks, Jesus counterattacks. And then he summons a cannon to shoot. Hey, is that red and yellow? Red and yellow now? Alright, that's it. Sorry, I had to get it out of my system. Hank dodges a few cannonballs and then plugs Jesus full of a few invisible BBs, and then the rest of it is just this. Chink! Chink! Grabs his boom box, shoots that guy. It's a turbo bass. The way he dances is total disgrace. He dances like a gray man, and we get this. Yeah, this episode is pretty dull. I tried to pad it out as much as possible, but... I mm, feel more like an idiot just making pew noises. Don't go, it gets better! Now we're on to Madness Combat Redeemer. This episode starts off the Cher saga, but can you really call it a saga? It's two episodes, and feel like he's just a temp bad guy. 
between the Tricky and Hades saga. Oh yeah, and get used to Somewhere in Nevada. If you don't remember it, you'll get reminded almost every episode. Sheriff Tracker, I bet the Duke boys wish they had one of those. Well, it looks like Hank's got himself in some trouble again. Let's see how he gets out of this one. Okay, that didn't happen, but it would have been fucking funny, you gotta admit that. Alright, back to the old western shootout. <laughs> One second. I got a feeling this impaling with blunt weapons is gonna happen a lot, so guess what, guys? New counter time! Dang nice! Dang nice! Oh, I bet he used to be a former grunt until he took a shotgun to the knee. before he could launch his diabolical plan to serve and protect. Wait a second. Well, that about wraps up number two. Now on to part three, Madness Avenger. I have Hank doing something Rayleigh really does. Sneaking! Ooh! Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, I guess you shouldn't have threw that knife so hard and Buddy wouldn't hurt you outside. Okay, this is where the series gets fucking awesome. This is where it sold me as a fan. Now, if you're not prepared for this, this will melt your brain. So, I need 750 cc's of uh, anti-brain melt. And fortunately, this time, I removed the fire retardant. 
Ah. <gasps> it's like drinking fucking gasoline. Oh. Hey, let's count how many times something ridiculous happens. Game let's try to keep up. Game One guy bounces off the walls, the other guy flies into the camera, the room gets welded in half, and he puts half a guy's head to the fucking roof. That tricky boots him off, he falls a few stories and survives. Game night. But then Game the background night. has raining whales and marshmallows. Ooh. Okay. The sun comes to life and attacks him, and when he puts the sun down, well, the sun goes out. Tricky comes along, he impales him to a marshmallow, that's another on the counter, and then he comes back as a zombie. Hey, I know that law of anime. That's a lot of hemoglobin capacity. A human body can hold over 12 gallons of blood, sometimes more, under high pressures even. Gee, I can only guess how this fight goes. Zombies, kill zombies, and then force push. zombie in the brain, he, he's dead anyway, that one had his brain shot, that shouldn't be going on. Dang nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey look, I can predict the future. It's like I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm skipping to the end. Jesus kills him with a sword and Hank shoots him both in the face with a shotgun. We start off the episode with a bit of foreshadowing of shit that's going to happen. Like, Hank using swords, Hank getting killed, spoiler alert, Hank doing stuff, and Hank killing more stuff. Really, do you expect anything else? The scene starts off with Hank driving his Rolls Royce towards Club M, where he immediately drives right into two guards standing at the door. Dang nice. Who knew AKs had a mega option? Guess we chalking that up to the improbability drive. What 
What's she gonna do? Shrugs it off and goes back to dancing. Well, oh, that's it for today. Oh, fuck, I don't feel good. Huh? Yep, here's a drink too much. Uh -huh. See you next time.